Tom's Toys. Got another HLJ box here to open for you. Fairly large. Um, once again, they tried to just put the slip in my mailbox and not even attempt to deliver it. I don't know what's going on with the post office, but it's driving me crazy. But I was able to get over to the post office and pick it up before they closed today. So I have it to open for you guys. Um, this is through stuff that came out last Friday. I meant to ship it Friday, so that it usually comes on Monday. But I forgot about it, and I didn't ship it until the weekend. And then apparently Monday was a holiday in Japan, so they didn't even ship it out till Monday night. So that's why it just got here Saturday. So it's about three to four days later than I usually get it. What are you going to do? But anyway, let's open up this box so we can check out all the fun stuff that is inside. So much packaging. Packaging. More packaging. All right, so first up, right on top, we have the DX Trigger Machine Splash. I like this one. It's kind of a retool of the crane, but I think it looks neat. I think it works, and I love the like head accessory that it comes with for Good Striker. So I think that's cool. Definitely going to be reviewing that and checking that out. Probably review almost everything in this box, to be honest, but... Let's see what else we have. Here we go. The DX Ryuki Ride Watch. These things were a pain to get. Um, and shout out to my buddy Zach if he's watching. Thank you so much. He posted some links when these went up like really late Thursday night. And luckily I was able to get it. Like they went order stop like that. So I just got lucky and somehow got one, which is great. Um, I feel like they're starting to get more. I think actually they have x8 available right now on the website as of the recording of this um so i feel like bandai is getting their stuff together and hopefully they'll start producing enough for people to get what they want we'll see next up we have the let's see rube crystal set zero three this one has a victory so they can turn into the ground form it also has Hikari, Guebasa, and Horoboros. He's the one they just fought the other day. I'll have to check. I mean, some of these might be in the Candy Toy or Crystal sets. I'll have to double check. But anyway, that's the deluxe one. I had that. It came out a while ago, but they actually didn't get enough, so I didn't get in on the first one. But then they got more in, so I got in on the second one, so I got it eventually. And then here is the uh, Crystal Set 04. This just looks like a bunch of Ultraman here. We have Ultraman Ace, Ultraman Dyna, Ultraman Mabius, and Ultraman Cosmos. So, pretty cool. Got a bunch of Ultraman crystals to check out. Next up, we have Rider Kicks figure, Rider Armor series. It's Getsu. So, I'm excited to get this guy because now I have another Rider to wear armor, even though I only have one set of armor so far. But the Ghost and X8 armor just came out yesterday. So. I'm excited. I think these are a lot of fun. Along those same lines, here is the Rider Kicks figure Legend Rider series Common Rider build. So I, I picked this up even though I have all the gimmick figures from build last year. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just because it would be in scale with these figures and also it's going to have the waist and head articulation that the Bottle Change Rider series did not have. So. Plus, they're pretty cheap. The nice thing about them is they're only about $15 a piece or so. Next up, we have a Mushinin. This is Ganin's Book Athletic. I don't know why it's called Book Athletic, but it looks like a little book. And looks pretty cool. So, definitely check that out. More Mushinin is always fun. Let's see what else. We got a lot of big boxes here. Oh, this is the 66 Action Dash Mega Man 2. So this is the... Where did my knife go? Over here. Um, the first wave of Mega Man 66 Actions were a lot of fun. 
I think the first wave had X, regular Mega Man, um, Mega Man 64 or RPG, whatever that one was called. Uh, Legends, that's what it was, Mega Man Legends. And I think Battle Network was the other one. So this one, let's see what we got here. This has five different ones. So we have X, another X. We have Vava. Is that what they called Vile? Yes, apparently they called Vile Vava in Japan. I, I did not know that. <laughs> so, Vava. Uh, number three is the um, Star. Mega Man Star, I think it is. And then number four, I believe, is uh, Cut Man. And then number five is the uh, Rush Armor Mega Man. So I think that's pretty cool. So let's see, do we have... We have two full sets, so that is awesome. So, Shook, if you're watching and you would like this other full set, let me know. <laughs> I can hook you up with a full set. Very excited about that. To go along with that, we have this, which is very large. This is the Ride Armors. So, they created two Super Mini Pla of Ride Armors to go with Mega Man X, which is very, very cool. So here we go. So there's two different, there's Vava's armor and then the normal one. So that's really cool. And then they have, these are huge boxes, but they have extensions. So you can do like, you can see up here in the corner, you can have the drill arms, you can have regular arms. I think that's really neat. He's even got big gun arms. Cause I think it was Mega Man X3 where he had like a bunch of different armors and you could change around between them so that's really cool and it's kind of nice because there's an X in the last set and an X in this set but I can have one out of the armor and one in the armor so it'll look perfect uh, next up this I got on a whim I just kind of saw it and I thought it looked really neat um, might be the only one I get might be something I really love but these are uh, Mobile Suit Gundam G-Frame 03. And the reason I picked this one up is it just had a really nice assortment of characters, or suits rather. <laughs> so it had the RX-78, the original Gundam, Char's Zaku 2, and then it has uh, this one which I'm not super familiar with, the uh, Hyaku Shiki? I don't know that one. I'm not sure what that might be from a, uh, just a series I'm not familiar with, but it still looks really cool. I have a few Gundam model kits from, I think I bought them from Unicorn when I was watching Unicorn, and they're bigger, and they are like full model kit builds. So like you build everything, the joints, all that. These are supposed to be a G frame, so they all have like the same frame. And then you attach the armor pieces to them. So I'm hoping that they're just a little bit easier to build. And maybe a little bit more playable, if that makes sense. Like Not that the other ones aren't, because they have great articulation. But they take us so long to build. And, I don't know, not that they're fragile, but I just feel like these should be a little bit more accessible. So I think these are fun. I think these are going to be really cool. Oh, this guy was hiding in the packaging. More packaging. Um, this is the... Lone Ultraman vinyl. Although I love the colors. Orange and blue always look awesome together. So I think this guy's really cool. Ooh, his tail even moves. He's got tail articulation. He's got this is like the most articulation ever. He's got both arms, waist, and a tail. But I just think he the design's really cool. The color scheme is awesome. And he was just in like one of the most recent episodes, maybe two ago or something like that. So he's cool. Definitely loving him. All right, a couple more things in the box. Here is, and I apologize that I am blanking on his name. Does it actually say it anywhere where I can read it? Mm. I think it's Muteki Shogun, but I could be wrong. 
any case, it's the quote-unquote Shogun Megazord Super Mini Block. <laughs> I've heard lots of good things about this, so I'm very excited. The build should be awesome. The individual robots are awesome, and also the combined form is awesome. So that's really cool. Really excited for this. I'm on like a Super Mini Block kick. They're just really good. And then last two things in the box. The DX Drive Ride Watch and the DX X8. It's always so hard for me to say DX X8. <laughs> TXX. DX X8 Ride Watch. So very excited that I got all these. Um, Forze just came out and I ended up getting it on Amazon Japan. I got tired of HLJ waiting on HLJ to put it up and I wasn't sure how it was going to go because I've been having a lot of trouble with them order stopping so fast and the pre-order went up on HL or yeah the pre-order went up on Amazon Japan and it was fairly cheap so I got it on there shipping was like 10 or 11 bucks which is a lot but at the same time I feel like for most of these it's like you pay five dollars per item it kind of comes out to and uh their price of the ride watch was lower than HLJ so like the price of the ride watch was lower but the ride watch shipping was a little bit higher so it probably evens out and I think I also got the bike ride watch from them but then the axe went up on HLJ last night so I got the axe from them so that should be it for September September should be done fingers crossed October works out better We'll see how it goes with them kind of getting their act together. And like I said, I don't think it's necessarily their fault. I think they're just not getting numbers from Bandai because Bandai's underproducing everything. So I'm hoping that as Bandai starts to realize the demand is there, they'll start producing more. HLJ will be able to start putting pre-orders up. Pre HLJ also redesigned their site. It's not terrible, but the other one worked so well, and this one definitely has some kinks. Because it, it's weird. They're like, last night, all the items that came out today were up but you couldn't actually buy them when you tried to buy them it would say the item stock has changed please refresh your cart but then your cart would still like the website thought they were in stock but it couldn't actually sell them to you so it was very strange but then eventually they went through because what I'm thinking is it's kind of like a placeholder listing so it shouldn't say in stock yet it should just say like coming soon or you know whatever the release date is like normally it'll say like September release that's what it should have said but it wouldn't even let you pre-order so it was very weird I got it but a lot of people missed out only because it was like four in the morning before it finally opened up so I don't know it's, it's a bit of a mess but I'm hoping everything sorts itself out this is gonna fall over I'm hoping by the time we start getting through October Bandai will start producing more, so the pre-orders should open up a little bit longer, and HLJ's site will kind of iron out its kinks. So, hopefully by the end of October we'll be back to normal. But yeah, so definitely look for reviews of pretty much all of this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do the Mega Man stuff. If you guys really want to see it, let me know, and I can. I, at this point I have so many reviews that just require me to build stuff. <laughs> I have soda sets still. I have Live Boxer, I have uh, the Go Lion Voltron Super Mini Pla, I have just a lot of model kits. So if you want to see them, just let me know and I can start doing them. Um, but otherwise, the priority is always going to go to Ultraman, Sentai, Rider, Transformers. I've been doing a lot of Bumblebee stuff. The toys for the movie are pretty fun. I think I'm mostly caught up on those as far as what I have. I'll start. I have probably only one or two more reviews of them to do. And I'm trying to think if there's any more like American toys. Power Rangers is kind of dead in the water right now. I did pre order the legacy figures at GameStop, but I think they said they don't come out till February, which is possible. I really have no idea. Um. It's kind of it, I think. American toys wise, it's really just Transformers because, like I said, Power Rangers is kind of dead. I've been buying some Legos, but not much. Oh, Predaking. I want to get Predaking eventually. I was hoping to get a sale on like either Amazon or Hasbro Toy Shop, but Hasbro Toy Shop always excludes it from all their promotions. <laughs> it just seems like everything's excluded anymore. Um, 
So, yeah. So, basically, it's going to be Ryder, Ultraman, Sentai, for the most part. Maybe some Imaginex and Play School stuff peppered in here or there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but definitely, as more Transformers come out, if more Cyberverse or Bumblebee stuff comes out, Studio Series, I don't know. Siege should be coming soon. I'm thinking, like, October, November is my guess, but I could be 100% wrong about that. I don't know. That's just my guess, because I feel like it's going to be before Christmas, I would think. I could be wrong. But I'm sure we'll start hearing something soon. I think the Japanese ones on HLJ have a pre-order of February, and American stuff always comes out a couple months before the Japanese counterpart. I don't know why. I don't know why Takara waits so long. But at least that's how it was with like all of Legends. Like We would get it here, and then like two or three months later... It would come out in Japan. So if, if you track that, that would make it like November here, which is kind of what I think. I feel like that's when Siege will happen. So we'll find out together. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this. Um, get excited for definitely more Rider reviews coming. Ultraman 2. Only have one new Sentai, but you'll be seeing that as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always guys, thanks so much for watching.